understand. Uh, it just didn't come. You know, I was I started out on my on my knees early in the morning, and and you know I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm asking God to give me something, give me something, and you know seemingly uh, the enemy uh, just just showed me all the suffering that we have to go through. You know, he was showing me year after year and. You know, this situation and mis misunderstood by this person, that person, you know, still loving, still giving, still wanting to be the best that I can be for God. And, you know, like the enemy really came in and, you know, uh, God is so faithful, even as even in my reading, it was kind of like like discouraging, you know, but but God is so faithful. Uh, I, I turned on the radio or my wife did and she turned on the radio and and this is a uh, uh, you know, this, this, the person that I was listening, he usually, all I can remember him saying is he used a Salih or Salu or something like that. Some, uh, some, uh, what, what is it? Sila. Yes, yeah, Sila. He says Sila. But he was saying, he said, how in, how in the world do you expect to get to heaven if you ain't willing to suffer like Christ suffered? You understand? He said, the only way that you're going to really make heaven is you got to have the sufferings of Christ down in your soul. You hear me? Just like he suffered, we've got to suffer. And you know what? It's like God pinpoints what it's going to take for you to get to heaven, for you to get to heaven, for you to get to heaven, for me to get to heaven. He pinpoints. He, you know, he knows how to shape it. You know, he was just showing me that all day long. You know, it's like, it's like, if, if I was to go that way, you know, if I was to go that way, and that's not the suffering way that he wants me to take, I'm, I'm, I'm missing a blessing. You know, I, I, I must conclude, and I'm not, I'm not a glutton for punishment. I'm not, I'm not appetizing this, but, but God knows that I would not be the person that I am if it were not for the suffering that I've gone through. And I, I, I have to say, I'm thanking God for it. You understand that? I'm not trying to be peed on. I'm not trying to be anything other than what God has made me. And God has made me that way through the suffering. It, it's, 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 it's what's making us. It's what's going to help us to get to heaven. Amen. You try to eliminate it. You try to get it out of your way. I want to be, you know, I want to be joyous this day. I want to be exciting. This is going to be exciting. No, no, no. I'm going to give you some thoughts. I'm going to give you some burdens uh, for other people. I'm going to load you down with burdens that you got to pray for this person. You got to pray for that person. But I don't, I don't want to feel that. You know, I want to feel, uh, you know, a little gaiety, a little, no. You're you going to feel some heaviness in your soul because that's the only way you can keep a burden, you know. And, and I say, Lord, your will be done. You know, like, listen, I, I was listening to some saints. I went to a, 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 a birthday party. I was sitting by some saints. And they were saying, this was their consecration. They said, we, fa we fasted five days out of every week. Five days out of every week. They said they did it for gain. I would jump on somebody else's fast. They said, let's fast about that. We fast about that. You understand what I'm saying? And the consecration, they were talking about what, what was being accomplished, weren't you? Weren't you? Weren't you telling me that? Yeah, you were telling me that. They were telling me what, what was being accomplished. And I said, I said, uh, I said, they were doing it. They said, yeah, they were doing it. I said, this, this person was doing it. Yeah, they were doing it too. I'm like, I, I couldn't believe it. I, I was like, well, what happened to it? You understand? What happened to it? Just like Brother Lee was talking about. I said, Lord, help me. You know, and, and God has blessed me to, you know, to start. Uh, adding someday, adding, adding, you know, afflicting my own soul. You understand? I want to afflict my own soul. You know, I, I don't need you to give me anything. I'm going to afflict my own soul because I know what you're going to do for me. This is a wonderful thing what God is doing. We are the last time. This is it. There's nothing else following us. We've got to have that power. We've got to have that authority. And the only way it's going to come is through the suffering, you know. So you're going to avoid your suffering, but God, God knows Thy will be done, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thy will be done Amen. in this earth. Amen. 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 Amen.